All right, there it is, 10 through 3 so far. It brings us to player number 2, according to the Shredder. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And he trails it to left field. The youngest player in franchise history with 40 home runs. How about that? What a scoop. Man, oh man, did he get all of that. The number two player, according to the Shredder at first base, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Makes his Shredder debut after his third season, while still just going into his age 23 season. The son of the Hall of Famer met all those high expectations last year. He kind of exceeded them. A 401 on base, 601 slugging percentage, and did so playing 161 games at first base. The future is here. And Guerrero is a superstar in Toronto. Guerrero was tied for the major league lead in home runs with Salvador Perez hitting 48. His overall hitting, that's weighted runs created plus, behind only Juan Soto. But with his games played, he was number one in the major leagues in total bases, which Carlos Pena matters. So the only call here is, wait, he's number two? Is he number two or is he number one? But these are serious numbers. 311 batting average, 401 on base, 601 slugging, 161 games. That's the only question. Is he two or is he number one? Yeah, this is where I think the Schroeder got it wrong, okay? But uh, listen. He is so good. The adjustments he has made over the last few seasons have been remarkable. He was hitting the ball on the ground a little bit too much, but it's not even about hitting it on the ground because we know that if you hit it hard on the ground the right way, then it doesn't hurt you. Uh, it actually helps you. So it's about timing. He made that adjustment of being on time to hit the baseball. And when you do that, good things happen. Yes, he hit the ball in the air a lot more often, but it was producing hard hit balls in the air because the timing was pristine where it needed to be. The only thing is, you see the numbers right there. Right now, he's still very young. Obviously, he's doing that age 22 season. But he's only done it one year. Do you think this is a guy who will do this year after year? That's the only question. Yeah, and that is uh, basically going to be the key for him is durability, consistency, mm -hmm. because this is where he's capable of doing. Now, I don't expect him to repeat this every single year, but something like it. Would you take an 80% of this every year for the rest of his career and playing 160 games, which I don't think... Uh, you know, that's going to continue to happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the 150s, at least 150, give me 80% of that. We're looking at a Hall of Fame career if he stays healthy. You're talking about Bryce Harper, right? Bryce Harper had his greatest year, age 22 season. He's never approached that again. But if you can get right there, below it, you can still be the MVP. And Correct. And have that great 